graduates. And I am so proud to represent this great community that we all live in. I am holding here one of the posters of the 200 plus people who were kidnapped by Hamas. This is a picture of a young person, 12 years old, 12 years old. Many of the people who were kidnapped are children. Some of them are very elderly, disgusting. We are dealing with good versus evil. Israel versus the terrorist organization of Hamas. Good versus evil. You know, October 7th is a day I think we're going to all remember for the rest of our lives. It was the largest murder, mass murder of Jewish people since the Holocaust. Over 1,400 people were murdered, and they weren't all Jewish, by the way, but they were all Israelis or uh, people visiting Israel and over 200 people were kidnapped. The barbaric Hamas terrorists are the new Nazis. They targeted civilians, they murdered, they raped, they kidnapped. That's what they did so against civilians. This is not a war between two armies. This is a war between a terrorist organization and an entire country, particularly against civilians, because that's what they do. They go after civilians. Wow. Hamas is a terrorist organization. It's an authoritarian government that oppresses the people in the Gaza Strip. They oppress Palestinians. That's what they do. If you don't agree with them, you're probably going to be dead. Now we want, I guess we're all thinking of the hostages. We want every last hostage released, released safely, safely and brought home now. As a somewhat political person, I find it shocking that there are organizations, there are groups amongst us that actually support them that make excuses for them, that don't condemn them. There are organizations right here in New York uh, that either maybe pay lip service to condemning them or don't and blame Israel. I'm not going to name all the names like, I don't know, the New York City Democratic Socialists of America or the Jewish Voice for Peace or the Jewish Vote. And remember that name, the Jewish Vote, next time they ask you for your vote. Anti-Semitism comes from the extremes. It comes from the far right, but it comes from the far left also, and we should not delude ourselves. Look what's going on around the country on college campuses, for example. This is something that I think many of us never believed could happen in the United States of America. And what's really amazing is the focus that many groups have I'm going after Congressman Richie Torres. Richie Torres, can you imagine? While there are some elected officials, including a few of my colleagues in the assembly, who refuse to condemn Hamas, who make excuses for them, who blame Israel for what they did, Congressman Richie Torres has stood up for Israel, has stood against anti-Semitism, When, when many people and some elected officials falsely blamed Israel for that horrific tragedy at a hospital in Gaza, they didn't retract their statements. They didn't say, oops, we were wrong, we jumped to conclusions. No, 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 no. But Richie Torres was one of the people who, again, stood up, said the right thing, and he does so at his own peril because he has got vicious, disgusting hate mail. limiting ourselves to two minutes, I'm going to close. Got that, everybody? Two minutes? I guess there are just really three messages here. We have got to stand up, stand tall, stand together in support of Israel, especially now and more than ever. 
We have to demand the release of the hostages now. And we have to stand with our Congressman Richie Torres as he fights for us and fights for Israel and fights against anti-Semitism. Thank you, everybody. Now I'd like to introduce our councilman, who is also the chair of the Jewish Caucus of the New York City Council, Council Member Eric Dinowitz. Speaker, I just wanted to remind everybody when we adjourn, please do it safely. We have a lot of people here. In fact, we have an incredible turnout of support for Israel. An amazing loud voice from our community saying, release the hostages now. And I'm proud to say that not only my fellow elected officials, Councilman Dinowitz and Borough President Gibson, all of the rabbis and others behind me, but this entire group of people here, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, have stood strongly behind our Congressman Richie Torres for his dedication and hard work. So, Am Yisrael Chai, God bless America, and let me introduce our last speaker, and that is Rabbi Netz, Bracha, Jack, did I say right? Rabbi Netz. I come from the sound section of the Bronx, that's how we say it there. Uh, <laughs> Bracha Jaffe. I'd like to The House of Israel is so much more than the Jewish people. It begins in Israel and it radiates around the world. And we see today that you don't have to be Jewish to be part of Beit Israel, to be part of the House of Israel. It is standing shoulder to shoulder with us and fighting for what is good and what is right. We thank everybody who stands with us in Beit Israel. Please join us in this song. Thank you everybody, please get home safely.